This is the machine that powers the world. It's an internal combustion engine. And to be more exact, it's a 4.6 liter V8 that gets somewhere around 18 miles per gallon. And with gas prices at what they are today, this engine is helping to make someone very rich. And as bad as I hate to say it, it's definitely not me. Now, try to imagine this, an engine that doesn't require an outside fuel source. You just turn it on and let it run. And the best part, it runs off of something as simple as a permanent magnet. You know, that thingy that you use to stick your grocery list to your refrigerator? Now, it's no secret how a magnet works. Opposite poles attract, while like poles repel. The trick is to use the magnetic fields to create mechanical energy. If you look closely, you'll notice that there's a magnet connected to each piece of wood, and they have a like poles facing outward. So now, when I push one magnet in front of the other, they immediately kick away. Looks pretty simple, right? The thing is, there's a little more to it than just that. You have to find the right alignment of magnets. That way, one group of magnets can push another group through their starting position. This creates a process that restarts over and over again. And what do you get? A non-stop continuous cycle that will run until the magnets lose their fields. Now, I know what you're thinking. How long does a magnet last? And the answer to that question is somewhere around 400 years, give or take 100. The point is, the energy source would outlive its owner. Now you remember the engine that's helping to make the oil companies rich, right? Well, there is one part that is of interest here, and that is the alternator. You see, as long as this machine keeps turning, it produces an electrical current. So, why not take this machine and connect it to this machine? Then you would have, depending on its size, a generator that could run anything. And yes, that would even include your house. Could you imagine never paying for electricity again? I can. In this video, current control coil is used to control the RPMs.
This is a simple PVC, plastic vinyl, it's an old, you know, plastic vinyl tube. We just cut it down to about one inch, which is the size of these little black magnets, as you've seen them. They're all glued in, they're all the same direction, the north and the south. All, one side is south, the other one's the north. But you're going to notice something. In, I don't know if you can see it or not, you will in a minute when they do the videos, there's a little hole in it. That gives the ability then from the magnet to be a horseshoe magnet itself. So we got two magnets within each other. Now what we also have, I want you to look at this because when you see the wedding cake, you're gonna see these big round balls around the outside of it, but there's a big space. You can imagine it with you can see this thing. Now it's connected to another what we call a round magnet, basically. It's just a flat banged in on both sides. Now what I've done is glue just a plain old steel ball, you know, the old pinballs, to the bottom so you can get an idea of what it is. End of story. Now you want to see what happens. Now, what you have to do is start thinking of the possibilities by using a simple device this. We were looking at doing it commercially, which we do have it done, but the people that put it together originally have been shot at a couple times and it's not right. So why don't we make a toy so everybody can at least think about it, do you understand? Okay, now I'll go make the thing so you can see how it works. Okay, now uh, we'll bring it up on the screen. You notice the gap that he has in the magnets, in the ring of magnets, and he's going to put that ring down over the other slice of a bar magnet glued onto a ball. We're going to have it on the screen here, if you watch up here. And he's, when he does this and gets it centered, the, ball, the little ball inside and the disc will revolve by themselves and they'll revolve perpetually. It's being done strictly by magnetic power, there you can see it, which tells us that free energy is infinitely simple. It's just the interrelationship of magnetic fields. And that's what he's demonstrating. All this is a okay. speaker magnet. Now the speaker magnet has a hole in the middle. Okay. You know, so you yeah. do it. So yep. what you do is you take off, you felt the weight of the, of the, uh, this little ball bearing here. Yeah, the whole yeah. thing. Well, yeah, if you yeah, pull sure. off the ball yeah. bearing okay. and put in a plastic shaft, 
Yeah. Then you've got a motor. Well, then all you need is something to drive the motor, right? Okay, yeah. Now, when I showed the pictures of the flying saucers, they always had that missing link right here. Yes. So you this can is see the wedding that. cake, right? Yeah, the wedding yeah. cake. The wedding so cake. when you look at the little hole in here, so what we've done is created a horseshoe magnet. There we go. You just... Now, see, what you do is you put the put a shaft on it, the plastic, don't put a metal shaft, a plastic one, then you can put a generator on it, yeah. and if you use the stronger magnets, you can really get a lot of power, and that's enough to create a field, to create yeah. your generator, to create, then how is that free energy? That is free energy. And, and you're doing it, not me. I'm doing it, folks <laughs> at home watching this, this is live, there are no, no, no hidden parts, no strings, no nothing, no preparation. Yes, there is, carries um. the <laughs> She's doing it psychically. Yeah, yeah I'm magical. Is that and, fun? Now, oh, no, that's and now I turn it over. Yeah, I just keep it balanced like that. Thing, stick it down on top. Way. There we go. And oh, it'll, it'll, it'll start. It'll start. There we go. Oh, it's. Well, hang on no, a second. What you, know what works, you know what it works better on? Because this has got flag on it. Is okay. on a glass, you know, a glass thing or whatever. Here it goes. There, there we go. go. Here we go. See that? Yeah. But, but <laughs> leaving that one out, the one puts it. Slightly out okay. of balance is that um, that causes the vortex. Some, yeah. Otherwise, you, all you got is the North Pole and the South Pole. But by putting this thing, yeah. now all of a sudden I've got the North yeah. Pole, South Pole, and it's causing a spinning. If you put a piece of paper on it with uh, metal filings, you'll so see it's it spinning to get into balance. Yeah, yeah. And what it's like? Okay. Yeah, it's right. What it's like? It's like a hamster on a wheel, and the magnetic field is the asymmetry that's like the hamster on a wheel, and the thing just keeps yeah. on going around. 